Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic that what is risk register. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of BMP near future. So let's start. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. <coughs> and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. And risk register is basically a uh, you can think of this as a log register or you can simply a log where you logs the risk <coughs> risk is a very important uh, concept in the project management risk is basically what is a risk actually risk is the uncertain condition of a pro project while executing a project and you have are not certain you don't have knowledge you can't confirm that whether it will happen or it will not happen <clears throat> if it's a positive risk so it will become an opportunity for you if it's a negative risk so it will become a threat for you or become an issue <clears throat> so the main purpose of risk register is to log the risk in the uh, while executing the project in some uh, in some document <coughs> so that uh, you can monitor those risks you can address those risks <coughs> so the risk register is the first step in the project risk management and it is an important part of the risk management framework the risk register helps project manager list risk, their priority, mitigation strategy, and the risk owner. So everybody on the project team knows how to respond to the project risk. <coughs> the purpose of the risk register is that basically you will know that the next step to managing risk is strategically working to control the potential issues that are most likely to occur when you are managing a project. <coughs> So therefore, you should have a risk analysis mechanism in place to collect potential risk and map out path to mitigate risk and get the project back on track should those risks become realities. So basically, friend, <clears throat> let me give an example of a risk. For example, <clears throat> there is a risk that you are going to deploy a release on a production and there is a risk that maybe, maybe the main resource who has to deploy a project will not be available on the deployment date for example let me give an example here <clears throat> so what you will do in that case you must have to identify the risk earlier <clears throat> at a very early stage so that you can address that risk. first thing secondly you have to make a mitigation strategy that how will you mitigate how will you address that risk if that risk occur if that risk happen so what you will do in that case you must have the mitigation strategy <clears throat> you must have the some alternate way to address that risk so that is the main purpose of the risk register to identify the risk at a very early stage make a honor of the risk on or make a or risk honor of the risk that means <clears throat> some person should address that risk, who is responsible that if that particular risk happened so <clears throat> what is the uh, risk mitigation how will you handle it how will you mitigate it then how to use the risk register in the project management first of all collect the project risk. Uh, friend planning in the planning stage if you identify first of all like you can survey you with your team sit with your team <clears throat> interviews with them with the past experiences so you collect the project risk at some place in some document <clears throat> then document the project risk. documentation means like uh, you can use any document like Pfizer Microsoft Word normally we use Microsoft Excel to record the project risk at some place so that we can identify and log it somewhere <clears throat> then monitor the project risk. monitoring means you can assign risk to your team member in your project risk register uh, that that person then is responsible for monitoring the risk and leading any risk response actions required to mitigate the impact of that risk event or address it once it becomes an issue 
<clears throat> by documenting it that for example after every week you will review the risk uh, register uh, the person who is assigned to address the risk he will monitor so monitoring should be there because it is not a good idea that just uh, log the register uh, risk at some place and <clears throat> leave it alone then it resolve the risk resolve means means that when the project is when the project risk is resolved you can close it nothing is better than checking off that risk in your risk log as no longer a problem in the project if the risk event has been remind, uh, remedied you don't want to continue using resources on a problem that doesn't exist it simply gives you more control over your risk management plan and fosters better communication with your project team and stakeholder <coughs> Because see friend, <clears throat> what happened that with the passage of time monitoring the project risk and once the project risks are resolved, then you can mark it that the risk event has been uh, resolved. Okay, and <clears throat> you can say that uh, don't need to assign any more resource to that risk because see if risk is already closed risk, you know that risk has been resolved, issue has been resolved, <clears throat> you don't need to assign the resource uh, to, to that. Or you can assign the resource to some other risk <coughs> here you can see a <coughs> sample risk register uh, this is a very simple example of risk this is the risk id risk id must be unique <coughs> and this is simply uh, you can say a risk register in the microsoft excel made <coughs> this is id risk id must be unique and it's a unique number then date race date race means that once uh, the date at which the day uh, the risk identified <coughs> then a risk description that what is the description what is the uh, explanation you can say description of the risk that we have identified this is the uh, probability likelihood of the risk occurring that what is the likelihood like medium low high whatever is the likelihood of the uh, risk you can mention it here then impact of the risk like if that risk occur so what is the impact impact means <clears throat> in terms of cost in terms of time it is high low medium whatever the risk event uh, impact is there you should have to mention it here then severity severity means the rating based on the impact and likelihood likelihood and impact probability and impact basis you can um, uh, see the severity it should be high low medium then honor honor means that person who is responsible to handle or address that risk who is the honor of the risk okay <coughs> then mitigation strategy mitigation strategy means that uh, in case of that risk how will you handle it how will you mitigate it minimize it address it so that is called as the concept of mitigation so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends